Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me. And yeah, so, wool products. Made a review about uh, wool shirts. And, you know, I told you guys, I love them. I'm gonna keep buying them. And I, I think I said I was gonna make more videos about wool products. And I, I just never did. Well, after that, I did make a uh, video about uh, one brand I don't like too much. But uh, yeah, th I'll talk about that later. But uh, yeah. Haven't made too many wool products, you know, reviews and stuff. Uh, probably some of you guys probably thought, oh, well, this guy just stopped buying wool clothes. Well, uh, I've actually been buying a lot more wool products. Um, I've bought a bunch of them out of all the categories. I bought a beanie, uh, neck guard, underwear, base layer, pants, shirts, socks, and a sweater. I've bought a bunch of them. So in this video, I want to discuss every category and tell you guys my opinions and experience with them and overall telling you if you should buy it or not or what you should find in each of these type of products. So, uh, yeah, it's tougher. Now, the cons for wool that is less than... Now, before we start, I want to discuss the difference between wool that is 100% or lower and 50% or around 50% wool. There is a difference. Let's let's start off with this. Now, when I'm talking about like 50% wool or wool blend, I'm talking about like the rest of it polyester. I haven't tried anything else that isn't polyester like um cloth. I mean, not cloth, like cotton. So, yeah, this specifically is 40% wool and the rest of it polyester and something else. Um I noticed the pros for a wool blend is that it dries quicker, it's tougher, and it's more breathable. Now, the cons for a wool blend is that since it's not 100% wool, it smells quicker than it would being 100% wool. Now, it's better, <laughs> it, it's way better, it's a way better alternative than having a fully polyester shirt. Like, l listen, all right, let me, let me so... This is 100% uh, polyester. This is a Patagonian. You know, here we go. Since this is 100% polyester, it starts to smell. And it is noticeable. It's not like, oh, um, it's... It's not like, oh, just put deodorant and that's it. No. The shirt starts to smell, all right? Like, y you have to take it out. You gotta switch it with something else. You know, um... You know, I wore this... Since this is red, I wore this during... You know, Christmas, you know, when I was with my family, you know, I was like, oh, all right, I got to wear like a setup with green and red. So I had green pants and I wore this. After the second day, it started to smell. You know, the first day you, you get a hint. I'm like, oh, OK, there you go. That's that's all right. I'm, I'm sweating and this isn't wool. So eh, that's that's my fault. But man, after the second day. Oh, my God, it is disgusting. I thought, you know, like I've worn. Poly fully polyester shirts and yeah they do smell but I thought I don't know when I was in gym when, when I was in you know high school you know I thought oh it's because I bought like a low brand you know uh, shirt and that's why it smelled if I buy the higher quality it wouldn't smell as bad this smelled pretty bad I like this base layer but man comparing it with a wool blend it doesn't smell as bad and remind you I was wearing this around family. I wasn't doing a lot of workout. Uh, the most I did was walk my dog and did 200 push-ups, you know, in those two days, you know? So, not a lot, but after two days, man, it, sm it smelled horrible. So, <laughs> that's why I think wearing wool blend, it's better than having 100% polyester. It's because of the smell. Like, uh, the most I did with this was some workout and walk my dogs. I started to notice it smelling after two days. And, you know, it, it didn't smell as horrible as, as the other one, the, the red one. So, yeah, that's why I think, you know, having a blend would be better, you know, than a 100% polyester. So, yeah, let's talk about 100%. Now, the pros of having a mostly wool product is that it's warmer and it smells less. Man, I'm a, I'm so nasty. <laughs> like, here's here. I'm wearing a smart wool right now. It's ninety percent wool, and I don't know what the rest of it is. I've been wearing this same shirt for five days now. I've been working out. I've been sometimes sleeping with it, and 
it doesn't smell bad. I <laughs> I'm gonna smell nasty. I'm gonna sound nasty again. Um, he, I don't even really smell that much sweat. I, I smell a little bit. Like if if I have my nose on my armpits right now, I smell something. Sorry guys, this is probably disgusting. I I think I smell I, I smell a little bit of something, but like it's not like people around me wouldn't smell it. That's the difference of having 100% wool. Now, there are some people that are out there that would say, oh, you know, if, if my wool product doesn't smell without me going through my armpits, then, yeah, I'll wash it. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> like, I, I, I'll wash it once I, I feel like, all right, man, it's it's been five days, and in those five days, I work out a lot. Yeah, I'm going to wash it. Like, this, this, like... After after this recording, I'm gonna watch this because I th I think it's been like five days and I've been doing everything with it, you know. Like I, I'm not gonna try to do the max and be crazy and be like, no, let's let's do the 100 days without washing your clothes. There there's videos that are out there <laughs> making those. I'm not gonna do that shit. But yeah, sometimes with wool clothes that I had, that I didn't do too much with it. If it starts to smell, I, I start to. You could just like air it off. Like I sometimes I put it in the hanger and just air it off and maybe like in a day the smell would go away. Now, that's only for clothes that I didn't too much didn't do too much with, you know. Uh with with this, yeah, I'm going to wash it. All right. This is going to go to the laundry. Comfortability. For me personally, you know, I I just think wool is just way it just feels nice, you know? Like it feels organic, natural. Like, it feels like just another, uh, it's going to sound disturbing. It feels like another skin, you know, like something, something like I, I, I feel like this is like a part of me. It's just something about wool for me that feels like a, a, just another layer of something natural. Like, <laughs> as if I'm a sheep and this is actually, this is the actual hair I've grown. It's just something about wool that, you know, it just feels organic, natural, you know. Um, You know, versus having a polyester shirt. Like, bro, again, I'm going to bring it back. I remember wearing this and I'm just like, yo, this, it, it just, it, it feels, it, there's just something about poly, now wearing polyester. It's like, bro, this just feels like a, a paper bag, you know, it doesn't feel, if it, it's, it's comfortable, but the thing is, it's just like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't feel like it's um a part of me, you know, with wool, you know, if I, if I want to feel warm, it feels warm. When I want to cool off, it feels cold, you know, there's just something about wool that just goes with you. But with polyester, it's just something that is an add on. It just feels like, a, it just feels like a shirt, you know, and it feels like a shirt that doesn't really that doesn't really communicate with you. There's just something about polyester now. Polyester, yeah, sure. Like I, I did like this shirt, but it's just like I don't know. There's just a difference between the feel of polyester now. Now, uh breathability. This is going to be a con and pro depending if what you see, but yeah, I find some wool products, not this one and this one, uh maybe like this one isn't too breathable and also it's windproof. Like, you know, when you're working out with 100% wool, you know, shit, yeah, sure. You know, like, you don't really smell. And also, it dries you off. But the thing is, when you're working out outside and you could tell, oh, shit, the wind breeze is about to hit me. When it hits you, you don't feel it. <laughs> like, like this does a great job being also windproof. So you don't really feel <laughs> the, the cool breeze that could maybe uh, decrease your temperature so yeah in a cold day with you know the cold wind that's great but in a hot day when you you want that cool breeze to hit you and to cool you off it's 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 a bad feeling you know all right so let's talk about the cons about 100 percent wool one it's itchy you know uh for me a person that has been wearing wool a lot uh the itch has been reduced, you know, like comparing it to the first day. Yeah, I don't feel as itchy as the first day I had wool, you know, wearing it. But, you know, the itch will always be there. It's never going to go away. <laughs> You'll never get used to it. There's always going to be moments where it's like, uh, feel a little itchy. And then the next time you feel itchy is probably going to be like, you know, like maybe hours ahead, you know. It's never going to feel like cotton or synthetic, you know. It's never going to feel non-itchy like that. So you're just going to have to get used to it. But 
it, overall, just depend on the person. You know, you know, if you're like me, yeah, you'll get over it. But maybe if you have sensitive skin and you know the itch, it's just very irritating. You're like, no, I can't get used of it. Then I would recommend a wool blend. You know, like a a wool blended with cotton or synthetic, or getting a wool that's more softer, like alpaca or cashmere. You know. Second, depending on the weight, you either be delicate or tough. This one specifically is supposed to be light and breathable and warm. So because of those two, light and breathable, it's really delicate. So this doesn't really feel tough, you know, like I can't go to the woods. If I go to the woods with this, yeah, I'm going to be worried about this. But comparing with this one, this one feels way tougher. This is way thicker, 100% wool. I could go to the woods and, you know, I, I wouldn't be worried about this. Third con, and this is overall. This this could be in the same boat too. It's very expensive. It being expensive and delicate, you get paranoid. You know, like like if you see a scratch or a hole here, you're like, how did this happen? <laughs> Was it my fault? You know, you start to get paranoid. You're like, did did I wash it wrong and that's why I got a hole, or did I, you know? Uh, walk against a brush or a tree and that's how this got damaged or oh is it is it because i have bugs around my room and <laughs> it's eating it like yeah it's it's it, like you get paranoid you get crazy you're like why I, like you're trying to all right if there's bugs then maybe, maybe i could just bomb my house <laughs> you know you start thinking crazy stuff like that but uh yeah but overall i still love it all right so let's talk about wool socks so out of all the wool products you know, you could say, oh, I don't need a wool base layer or a shirt or an underwear. The sock is a must buy. Like, out of all the products, I, like, I'm trying my best to replace every sock with a wool product. Like, the, the wool, wool socks are so versatile. Like, it's great in the summer and great in the winter. It's great for cold climates and warm climates. Like, all right, so <laughs> right now I'm working in the coldest months right now. Wool socks are just so great to work with, you know? Like, out of all the the parts in my body to get cold, the feet is the most uncomfortable. Whenever I'm wearing a wool sock, that disappears. Like, I, I no longer have to worry about cold feet and sweaty feet. Like sweaty, like like warm feet. Yeah, I can keep my my feet warm, but ugh, it's gonna get sweaty, and ugh, it's going to smell. But with a wool sock, it's gonna keep you warm, while also keeping you dry. And because it's antimicrobial, I think I pronounced that right. Uh, it doesn't smell, so you have the perfect sock. It doesn't smell. It keeps you warm, and it dries fast. And you could say the same thing in hot climates. Now. You gotta probably buy a sock that is um lighter, you know, more breathable. All right, so the wool percentage you should get is either 50 or higher. I've seen a lot of like wool that goes to 50, 60, and 70. Nothing higher because I think if it's a hundred percent wool or higher, it's not gonna be as tight or flexible as this or any other like well-built wool product, you know. Uh, like the lowest you can go is maybe a 40. Uh, because a 40, that's mostly like a summer type of, um, a sock, you know, like it's, it's supposed to be like breathable, not too much wool. The wool is basically just, it's not meant to keep you warm. It's more like to absorb the sweat and to not smell, you know, anything lower than maybe a 40. It's not, it's not really wool. Like I've, I've, I've bought socks that say, oh, wool blend. And then I found out it's like 20% wool. It's like, bro, what the... <laughs> The wool doesn't help. So, the second must-buy wool product, in my opinion, well, this is specifically for the cold, base layer. So, uh, the whole point on not getting cold is to stay warm. <laughs> yeah, of course, I think everybody knows that. But, um, I think everybody underestimates sweat, you know? You know, if you're if you're poor, yeah, you just put like five layers of something. You're like, oh, you got five hoodies? Well, just put all of them at the same time, you know? Just put it on top of each other, you know? And then there you go, you're warm. But everybody forgets about overheating or overdressing. When you overheat, you start to sweat. And then the sweat makes your clothes get wet. And when your clothes are wet in the cold, you start to freeze. You start to get cold. So... I think, listen, 
there's there's a lot of ways to keep yourself warm. You don't have to own the most expensive like insulation coat or wool coat to keep yourself warm. Yeah, just put five layers of um, you know clothes. But I think the most important part is to not get wet when you're sweating. So wearing merino base layers underneath your mid layer would help a lot from you not getting wet, which means not getting cold. Now another thing about merino wool is that when it gets wet, it still retains most of its heat while not smelling unlike cotton or down. So if you're wearing a down jacket or even a cotton hoodie, you're compromised. You're gonna get cold. And I think it's a must buy to buy wool base layers, you know? So yeah, I think a uh, wool base layer is a second must buy. Like, there's no there's no argument. So yeah, I got, so I own Duckworth. I own uh, Icebreaker. And, wait, where's, where's the, there we go. And I own uh, Smart Wool. Now, smart, the Smart Wool is, I don't know, like, I kind of treat it as, like, a, a t-shirt. So it's almost like I use this as, as an everyday thing. You know, even, I use it as pajamas, going outside, all that. But but these, I don't know, the ones I bought specifically, I, I use it as a base layer. You know, when if it, if it's really cold outside, I use these. So I don't I don't use it at the at at the heat, you know, like when it's summer. This one, I actually use it specifically all season long, you know, like I use it in the summer, the spring, the winter, the fall. This is really versatile, this specific one. You can I can't use this. This is the same like um, you know, like um same gram, but like, you know, it's 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 more tighter and it's meant to be a base layer. So, next product is wool underwear so i got an icebreaker and a duckworth this is mostly wool i forgot maybe probably 90 percent wool and this is 40 percent wool the rest of it polyester so why would you need wool underwear well like i keep saying but i'm gonna repeat myself again it dries quick and it doesn't smell so unlike wool socks i'm not gonna replace all of my cotton and synthetic underwear with merino wool because I see wool useful in some scenarios. Um, it's still pretty good to use, but it's like, uh, it's not really necessary to just replace everything with wool, uh, like underwear. So the scenarios I see it useful is when you know for a fact that you're going to have either a long trip, a long day, and if you think you're not going to take a shower in between those days, that I see wool underwear being very useful. I'm talking about scenarios like, you know, camping, hiking, uh, long trips, dr long driving. Yeah, I see merino wool useful in those scenarios. In an everyday scenario, like, you know, you're coming back from work, not, not like a blue color, color job, maybe you have like a, either office job or, you know, you work at retail. Yeah, I don't see merino wool as useful or even like going out to, to buy groceries or going to the mall and buying stuffs or, you know, just just walking your dog. Yeah, merino wool is not that necessary. At the end of the day, if you're not tired after doing an activity, then you don't need merino wool because if you're not tired, go take a shower if you're sweaty, you know? <laughs> like for me, if I if I'm sweaty, I take a shower every day, you know? Or either close to every day. So merino wool is not that necessary for me to buy you know to have all my underwear to be merino wool unless i'm like i'm uh, i'm living in the, either the mountains or you know uh, I'm, I'm a farmer you know like oh every day is just like uh man i'm gonna shower at the end of the day or i'm not because i'm too tired you know so yeah i don't see it as necessary but i do love it all right like man Every day at the like it's just it's it's just like socks when you're doing so much activities and at the end of the day you want to get tired you're tired you lay back you take off your pants and you notice man my underwear is dry it's not soggy wet I don't smell nothing it is so nice and it's nice and toasty dry man it, it's a great feeling just like with socks whenever you take off your boot and it's nice and dry. It doesn't smell. All your uh, like colleagues aren't smelling your fucking stinky ass feet after the end of the day, and you want to massage them. It's it's just like underwear, but you don't really need merino wool underwear unless you know, unless you know you are doing high activities, unless you are in a blue collar job, you know. I, I guess, but like an everyday thing, if you're working in an office or you're um uh, doing groceries no you don't need merino wool so the difference between mostly wool and around half wool is 
This feels more tougher, while this feels more delicate, but much more lighter. This tend to feel more cooler if you're doing summer activities, you know, during the hot environments, you know? This is a good, like, everyday thing, while this one feels... It could be any every day, but I, I feel like it's more beneficial in the summers, you know? I remember going to Florida with this, and it it it, it cools off very nicely, you know, during uh, the, those that Florida trip. Um, I haven't wore this too much. It it was it was you know medium, I would say, but this one feel felt more cooler in the in the the hotter environments. So, yeah. So, next product this is gonna be short. Wool beanie. Um, I've only have one of them. And this has replaced all of my beanies I had before. I, I think I have like more than five beanies. Ever since I've bought this, I haven't used any of those ever again. <laughs> like, bro, I, I, I tried some of them a few times, you know, just to be like, you know what? I, I have a lot of beanies. Why am I not wearing them? No, I, I, I don't want to wear them. Like, you haven't noticed, you don't notice that your head gets sweaty and, and, and smelly until you have a wool beanie. Like bro, when I when I wear my car hearts and when I take them off, like, oh, this is this is wet. Oh, it's smelly. What the fuck? <laughs> like you don't notice it until you wear this. It doesn't smell. And it gets dry really quick. Like that's the benefits of a wool product. So yeah. This this is good. I actually this is my this is close to a must buy, uh, getting a wool beanie. And I haven't own anything else like i haven't th i haven't thought of buying another one i might have to buy another one because you know like i just want to buy another one like you can just buy you can just own one and it will satisfy you the entire time like i never th for i've owned this for two years i haven't thought about buying another one for some reason i don't know why <laughs> i want to buy another one i want to buy a black one so it could you know i could stylishly you know fit on every clothes like i've only have a blue because blue is my favorite color so yeah, really good. This is 100% wool. This is Duckworth. Yeah, I I love I love wool product. I love I love this wool beanie. It replaced all of my beanies. The only beanie I wore is my black Carhartt, but that's only for work. <laughs> I don't want to use this for work. I don't want it to get messy or dirty. You know, having like sawdust or compound all over it, or even like paint. You know, like when you're wearing a wool beanie, you know, your head stays dry, but cotton, it's like oh, it's it's damp, it's wet. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about beanies. Uh, if you guys notice a quality shift, that's because I finally figured out how to connect my camera to the PC. So hopefully it looks good. If it looks bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best. You know, I'm still learning. I'm tr trying to figure out how to make my videos look the best with what I got. So uh, yeah. Also, um, I'm wear you, you know you probably noticed that I'm wearing like several different shirts almost every time. It's taking a long time to make this video. So yeah. Next product is Merino wool shirts. This is 100% wool. This is 50. And the rest is polyester. So, um, Merino shirts are really good. I like them. I enjoy them. I already I made a review talking about how much I love them. I won't, so that I'm not going to talk too much about them. But I will say, would I recommend them? Not really. Um, with my experience, I, I don't know, maybe I've just been unlucky and I can't say much because, um, I bought several icebreaker shirts and icebreaker makes a lot of good shirts. Uh, I mean, a lot of good looking shirts. There's a lot of them that has, you know, good designs, cool designs. And I'm like, damn, I want to get it because it's, it looks fashionable, but I've been having pretty bad luck with them. So with this one, you could see. This has holes, and there's more holes in them, but I'm not going to talk too much. So, yeah, in my personal opinion, I can't recommend them because of how much bad luck I've been having. It's hard to recommend because you got to spend a lot of money. And, you know, I can't recommend it because at the same time, I have to tell you, you're just going to have to take a chance, all right? It might get a hole. How? Why? I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're, it's it's going to be a question mark, you know? But still, I love them. You know, it's it still has the benefits of wool. I use it every day. It's versatile. I love it. But yeah, it's tough to recommend. But what I would recommend, if you don't want to take a chance, 
is a wool blend. So but both of these are around 40% wool and the rest of it polyester. So these were great. I like them. They're tougher. But uh, I would say these are more, you know, in the uh, in hotter environments because it's, it's more breathable. Uh, you know, it doesn't it does have too much insulation. But uh, yeah, these are great for, you know, summer activities, spring activities, you know, when it's a little bit more hotter. So I highly recommend them. And this is Icebreaker. But still, even with Icebreaker blend like this, it gets holes in them just like this. I've used I use this shirt twice in my Florida trip. And it's got holes. Yeah, one right here and one right there. It's really hard to tell. Uh, yeah. Now, yes, there are small holes. I know. Like, oh, why are you complaining? They're right here and right here. I'm complaining because I spend a lot of money. Wool, wool is very expensive. <laughs> like, and I expect it to at least last longer than a year, hopefully. But yeah, it's it's really hard to recommend. You know, you spend a lot of money. And in the first week, this, it gets holes. It's it's a tough one to recommend wool shirts, you know. It's just hard for me because I'm because of my experience. But if you want to get one, just know the risk. May maybe not 100% wool, and maybe not even like a icebreaker shirt overall. Just get maybe like I don't know, the, yeah, Duckworth or uh, Smart Wool, you know. So next product is wool sweaters slash mid layers so yeah so uh this is uh duck work duck work duck worth 50 percent uh wool and polyester 90 percent wool and 10 percent polyester and then 100 percent wool and this one i got this is from a uh, tgmx this is 100 percent cashmere so a little bit about this i kind of want to talk about a little bit uh is all right this is my first cashmere, and uh, after wearing it a few times, it's pretty good. It's really warm. Warmer than merino wool. But the thing about cashmere is it's actually a little bit too warm, uh, depending on how you layer. Yeah, I would say cashmere is mostly only for like the cold it's not gonna it's it, it is not gonna be be good for uh you know the summers or the springs you know maybe if it's a little bit cold but yeah my first cashmere. And I love it, but it gets you too warm. So that's that's all I got to say about that. But let's talk about these three. So, uh, like I said, 50-50, 90, 10, and then 100% wool. So you don't really need wool mid-layer slash sweaters to get you warm. Anything can get you warm, you know, cotton, uh, polyester. But there's just something different about wool you know uh, especially since if this gets wet it actually keeps you warm still you know all the, like cotton and synthetic you know oh they they lose the warmth when it gets wet wool doesn't so yeah i would combo with you know um you know like um a base layer i have and then combo with this and with this or i do i switch instead of this i would do it with this that's why i love this so much because it's so uh versatile you can fit it on any clothes <clears throat> This is a uh, nice to. I always wanted a wool coat, but I instead I got a shirt <laughs> close enough. Uh, you know, duckboard. This is pretty good. This is pretty good too. Uh, pretty. This is pretty wind resistant. And this one, uh, like I said, it's breathable, so it's not really wind resistant. So it's really meant to be like um meant to get you hot. But if you're doing like I guess high activities, then yeah, this isn't wind resistant. But it's uh it gets you warm enough. That's all I gotta really say, you know. Like I said, anything could get you warm, but wool mid layers or outer layers, I don't know. Uh, they're pretty good, you know. Now, there's one more product I forgot to mention, and that's uh, the merino wool neck guard. Uh, I'll keep it short because <laughs> the video is already too long. But I love wool neck guards. They're great. I recommend getting the highest as you can, and that's because it has the best parts about merino wool. It doesn't smell. It's warm. And it dries quick. I've used a cotton scarf. Those were a joke. Like, th never buy those, all right? It's same thing with synthetic or plastic, you know? Uh, the plastic ones, yeah, sure. If you, The best ones will keep you warm. But, man, I remember using a few of them daily, and they start to smell. And, you know, neck guards, <laughs> they're close to your nose, so you smell them. And they smell really bad. I have owned and used two neck guards made out of wool, and I have never washed them, and they didn't smell. So yeah, highly recommend them. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I got to say. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Wool is awesome. I like wool. Uh, oh yeah, another thing, a few things. 
uh, with the wool blend and then 100% wool. Uh, wool blend tend to be less itchy. And the wool, depending on the product, you know, uh, it, it is itchy, right? So, uh, yeah, I would recommend a new wool user to get a wool blend. Another thing is, is that uh, when I say I'm going to replace all of my socks, uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to throw all my other socks that isn't wool to the trash. I'm going to use them as much as possible. And, you know, if, if they keep breaking down, uh, I got to throw in the trash and replace it with wool. Now, there's still a use for uh, wool, cotton, and synthetic. Like I said, wool is pretty expensive, all right? So maybe you don't want to replace <laughs> all of your socks with wool, you know? Just in case they might break, you know. Uh, but I use wool for like just a, a, a scenarios like, oh, if it's too hot or, oh, if it's too cold, yeah, I'll, I'll get like a wool sock, you know. But like any just casual day, like, oh, I got to go uh, do some grocery shopping or, oh, I got to pick somebody up. Yeah, I'll use cotton. Or if it's a small trip, yeah, I'll use cotton, you know. Cotton, cotton and synthetic is still useful. But I think wool is very useful when you know that you're going to have a long day. That's my general opinion. Wool is really good, but it's really hard to justify because it's so expensive to be like, oh, every product has to be wool. Like, I, I, if, I was, if I was rich, <laughs> I would replace everything with wool. I love wool so much, but I, I, can't, I can't justify it. I got nothing in my bank account. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because I spent it all on wool. No, but yeah. So, yeah. That's all I want to say. Hopefully this video helps you out picking out which wool products you should get or maybe you shouldn't. Uh, oh yeah, do your research because maybe my opinions don't fit on your lifestyle. <laughs> maybe you're a hunter or an athletic person that works out outside and, you know, I didn't say what you wanted to hear, you know. Uh, yeah, try to find other people that uh, fit in your lifestyle and that could give you those informations. And also, maybe my opinions were wrong, you know. Just, you know, people have like, different experiences, so... Yeah, hopefully you find the information you were seeking so you can pick out what you should get. And uh, yeah, that's all I say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Twitter so you can keep up to date with what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, bye.